Hello everyone, today I would like to demonstrate this e-ink display frame that I made. In short, it's a Raspberry Pi attached to WaveShare's e-ink display in a glass panel case. The display shows loads of information from my home assistant server, mainly the calendar, upcoming events and the weather for the next few days. It's using Python to create the image to be displayed and I have made it an open source project on GitLab, so you are free to use it on your own projects and modify it as necessary. Let's take a closer look what is displayed on the screen. Pardon all the finish. Thankfully, the content is pretty straightforward and easy to guess. Uh, at the top, we have the current date and day of the week. This is pulled from Raspberry Pi's own internal clock or NTP internet time, if you have it enabled. Below that, we have the next upcoming event in the calendar. It uses Google Calendar component in the Home Assistant, so you need both Home Assistant and its Google Calendar component installed to have it to work. If you have multiple calendars in your Google account, you can select a calendar in Python script settings. Uh, more about this later. Then below the date stuff, we have the weather. This data is pulled from Dark Sky component in Home Assistant. So again, you need to have them both installed and enabled for this section of the display to work. The topmost weather element is the current weather. It displays the temperature and an icon showing the type of weather we are having, like raining, snowing, windy, etc. Then underneath that, we have the weather forecast for today and the two next days. It displays the same kind of information as above there. Just a quick few words about Home Assistant. If you're not familiar with it yet, Home Assistant is kind of a home automation server. It's written on Python and it's open source. You can run the server even on a Raspberry Pi and there are actually some easy installers for it like has.io with Home Assistant, you can automate multitude of devices and platforms in your home, like smart lighting, thermostats, and so on. It has support for various different IoT platforms. I personally use it with IKEA smart light bulbs and Xiaomi sensors, and it has been great. I cannot recommend Home Assistant enough. It's been great to have it in my home, and it seems to be updated rather frequently. So some information about the display. Ignore the white outline on the display element. It is something I used for it to look nicer on the frame. The display is from WaveShare and it's 7.5 inch three color hat B model. The SKU is 13505. It has a resolution of 640 times 384 and it supports three colors, black, white and red. It uses the SPI interface, so do note that if you plan to use it with Raspberry Pi, make sure you order the one with the hat in the name. You need that for easy connection with the Raspberry Pi. They also sell some versions which do not have that. The display element itself feels rather thin and lightweight, so it is really easy to install on various different cases and elements. I think the display looks great. That's the advantage of ink displays. It has a really sharp image on all kinds of lighting conditions. Although I have to say the resolution is a bit low. As you can see here on the smaller text, it is getting really rather pixelated when you look at it really closely. WaveShare provides a nice GitHub repo with lots of example code in Python and other languages. I highly recommend checking those out. Uh, here's the demo script they provide. It displays some text, both in horizontal and vertical format. I really like this one. At the end, it shows this huge graphic with a clock and a WaveShare logo. It looks really good and I want to do something similar in style. One large issue I have with this display is the screen refresh. I was planning on using this display as a clock so I needed it to refresh the display or portion of it every minute. But it quickly came up, it was just not possible at all. As you can see here, I run the script to update the screen and look what happens. It needs to turn on the whole screen on and off for something like 20 times. 
I do realize that the uh, e-ink displays need to do that to prevent ghosting, but uh, this is a huge issue in these devices and 20 times seems just a bit of an overkill. I tried to look online for any methods on how to maybe just partially update the screen, but alas, I do not think that is currently possible. Only this full screen refresh method exists at the moment. Because of these limitations, I have the software set up so it refreshes only once an hour. So it's not too distracting, blinking all the time. All right, so the assembly is rather simple. If you buy the hat version, you get this easy to use hat to use on your Raspberry Pi. Just put that on top of the GPIO pins. Also remember to screw these screws so that the hat is not all wobbly. Then in this middle section you need to attach the cable, but after that you are pretty much all set to use the display on your Raspberry Pi. For this project I wanted the Raspberry Pi to be attached to the back side of the case. The case, by the way, is just some cheap photo display frame I got from the local supermarket. I think it costs something like 4 euros. Anyway, the back panel of the photo frame is really quite thin, so I could not screw the Raspberry Pi in there. Instead, what I did was I had this old black Raspberry Pi case lying around. I took the bottom part of it and super glued it to the back panel of the frame. That worked pretty damn well, actually. The Raspberry Pi is nicely attached to the back of the frame now and it stays there. As I mentioned earlier, the display itself is really thin, so it's no problem at all to slide it between the glass panel and the back panel of the photo frame. I think it looks pretty snug in there. Let's take a look at the software. The full source code is available here on GitLab, a link is in the description. The scripts use Python 3, which should be already installed on Raspbian and other more common Linux operating systems on Raspberry Pi. Do note that WaveShare offers several versions of e-ink displays. The script that I made is really meant to be generic enough to work on multiple resolutions, but you may need to do some modifications for it to display correctly on your display, especially if it is a lot smaller in size and resolution. So what you need to do is clone this repo or download a zip file. Then run this pip command. It will install the dependencies required. After that, copy the env example file to .env and change the parameters to your liking. Let's take a look at the parameters. So we have home assistant base URL. This is the base URL of your home assistant server. Uh, then there's home assistant access token. Uh, you can put the Home Assistant access token here. You can get it from the configuration page in administration section of Home Assistant. Display width is the width of the display in pixels and display height is the height of the display in pixels. Locale is the locale to use in date and such. Determines the translation of weekdays, etc. And calendar is the name of the calendar to use in the upcoming section. After these are set, then just run the eink.py file and the screen should be updated. If you do not have the display connected, you can run the test.py file. That opens a window on your monitor that displays the graphic that is generated. If you want to run the update once per hour, you can put the eink.py script as a cron job. In summary, I think this was a fun little project to do and I'm quite pleased how it turned out. I'm a little bit bummed out about the refresh rate. I really wanted e-ink clock on my coffee table, but this will do just fine. Also one thing that bothers me quite a lot is the poor paper cut I did here on the bottom of the display. I really need to measure a better paper powder for the display and do some cut work here. That's all for now. Hope you enjoyed this project demonstration. Do check out the code and related links in the description of this video.